I've got a couple things in the mail and it reminded me of something that we went over. Episode 16, I talked about this hidden trap in the internet jungle. It is a deceptive advertising practice that I hate and that my customers continue to ask me about. And so I thought I'd bring it to you today in case this has ever happened to you. Have you ever gotten one of these in the mail? They look a little different. This one's from Domain Registry and it says Domain Name Expiration Notice. And then we also have the Domain Listings website listing service. Now, these are different. They say they're for different things, but the general idea behind them is the same. And that is this. I believe that they are preying on people's ignorance. The fact that you're a busy business owner and you're paying attention to your business and you're doing the best you can. And when you get something like this in the mail, it kind of looks like an invoice. And so chances are you're just gonna fill out your check and send it in because it has something to do with the website, something to do with the domain name. And of course, you know that's vaguely important for your business. So you're just gonna pay it and not worry about it. But here's what I'm here to tell you, be cautious. I believe these companies right here are trying to steal your money and steal your business and they have no right to do this. So let me tell you about what this is. You'll be able to see much more clearly these papers in episode 16. It's not showing up real clearly here for you right now, but I've got great screenshots that I can show you in that episode. But basically it works like this. These companies are sending you what looks like an invoice. And uh, this one is the most, this one is the most problematic. Actually, this one's called domain listings. And it, it's telling you about your annual website domain listing. And this one over here is domain name expiration notice from domain registry. Here's what's really, really tricky about this one. People can see when your domain name expires. That piece of information is public knowledge. So they can send you a letter that says, attention business owner, your domain name is coming up for renewal. Just write us a check for 50, 90, $190, and we'll go ahead and renew that for you. But here's the thing. They are not your domain name registrar. In other words, they have no business sending you what looks like an invoice, but they're preying on your lack of a knowledge, lack of understanding, lack of awareness in this particular, you know, genre of topic that they're, you're just gonna pay the bill. That's what they're doing. They're hoping that this is gonna come in the mail, looks like an invoice, you're gonna send out the check, boom, boom, boom. And you don't have a web geek that you can ask and say, hey, is this legitimate? My clients have a web geek like me and they reach out throughout the year with this letter, with this very letter. And they say, I thought you took care of my domain name, what's this? And I say, yeah, you're right. I do take care of your domain name. And here's the really tricky thing. If you look for it, if you search for it, you can find the words on the paper that says, this notice is not a bill. These people have the gall to say, this notice is not a bill. It is rather an easy means of payment should you decide to switch your domain name registration to domain registry. I think that's deceptive and I think it's a terrible practice. And I think that it makes it look like they're offering to renew your domain name, like they're the ones that have the business to do that. And they don't, they're just looking to steal your business. If you pay them, you're giving them the rights to steal the domain name away from wherever you have it currently registered. I don't think that's a good business practice. I'm not in favor of that at all. And I want you to feel free to come right here to this group, drop me a line, post it right here in the in the chat or or send an email to cj at askawebgeek.com if you get these in the mail because it's also pretty simple for us to figure out who your real domain name 
registrar is. You might be through GoDaddy. You might be through me. You might be through one of the other many companies that are out there. And when they send you a bill to renew, or probably an email, or probably it's on auto renewal or whatever, that's probably perfectly fine. And you should continue to renew your domain name. You need to renew your domain name every year. That's totally a normal and good thing. But these people, they have no business sending you what looks like an invoice telling you that you need to renew it through them. Do you see the trick of that? And that's why I don't like it at all. This one right here, is another level completely because they're not even talking about your domain name renewal. They're talking about something they call a website listing service. An annual website domain listing on internet directory. Can I tell you what that means? They have created their own directory and they want to charge you $300 to appear on their directory. But you may not know that that's what it says, because when you get it, it just looks like an invoice and it's got your domain name in big, bold print right up here at the top. It says GilbertStudios.com. Pay your bill for GilbertStudios.com, business owner. Well, you know what? I, I, I know how to read the small print. And once again, it's got it right here in the middle. If you look for it, it says this is not a bill. This is a solicitation. You are under no obligation to pay the amount stated above unless you accept that offer. And when I point out that line to my clients, they feel really stupid. They're like, oh, duh, it says it right there. I didn't even see it. And I say, of course you didn't see it. You're not meant to see it. They have to include it like legally, but they're hoping that with the with the deluge of text on this page, you're not going to see it. You're not going to read it. You're not going to notice. You're just going to pay it. Well, I think that sucks, and because you're part of my community, I'm here to say let's make sure that doesn't happen to you. So here are the facts. If you own a domain name, you do need to register it every year, and you need to keep renewing it. If I manage that for you, you can trust that I'm just going to send you an email once a year saying, hey, here comes your domain name renewal. Send me 20 bucks. We'll take care of it. That's pretty much what it boils down to. You can ignore all of these letters from random people trying to steal your business when you already know where your where your domain name is registered. Only pay attention to that company that actually has registered your domain name. Here's the tricky thing, and I'll mention it, although I don't want to overwhelm you with too much in this one episode, but directory listings is a very real thing. There's lots of directories out there, and you do want to make sure that your business is listed in them. The top ones include Google, Apple, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, and many, many others. Yelp, um, eh, and, and many others. And I also offer a directory listing service, which begins at $99 a month to help you create and synchronize your listings across those 80 different platforms. I think this is different than what this company is offering, for 200 and something dollars a year for their one directory, whereas the tool I use is for all the directories at, uh, across the page. So let me know if you have any questions with that. I do have a free resource that you can uh, run a scan tool to check out your listings. It's scan.gilbertstudios.com, S-C-A-N, scan gilbertstudios.com you can use that it's a free tool and you can find out where your website and business is listed in those directories and then if you want my help if you want my service to fix it correct it synchronize it of course we can talk about that that's my message for you today and i invite your follow-up questions let me know i will review whatever comments come in after this video i will look for your comments in the group Please ask your questions. Please let me know how I can help you further and be on the lookout for these kinds of papers that pretend like they're legitimate invoices, but they are not. And look for those magic words that's written there somewhere. This is not a bill. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And I don't like that at all. So I'm glad that you're with me. I'm glad that you're part of our community. That's not going to happen to you because now you know better. And now you're going to be able to tell someone else that this is a thing that can happen and invite them here to our community so that together we can keep uh, we can keep helping each other out. You know, 
I know what I know. I'm an expert on websites and I understand how domain names work and hosting and all the things that are associated to it. But I have to turn to other experts to help me with other things. I am not a car guy. I am not a mechanic. And so I I turn to my trusted mechanic, Sergio, whenever I need something fixed or upgraded. In fact, I'm going to send him a text as soon as I'm done with this because it's time to get some service on my minivan. So I'm going to call him right after this uh, because he's the expert I turn to when I need help with something that's a little bit outside my zone or you may not even have time to take care of something like this, but you know that there's someone else who can. So I, I say that to let you know, don't feel bad about the stuff you don't understand. Websites, hosting, domain names, this stuff is horribly confusing. And I, I tell my clients on every phone call that I have with them, this stuff is confusing. It's difficult to talk about because we're using these words that may mean something to you, mean something to someone else. Sometimes we even use the same words and we refer to two or three different things. It's very confusing. In fact, I have an episode where I talk about the differences in hosting and domain names. Episode 20 is uh, an episode where I talk about domain names, website hosting, email, and how they all fit together. I, I say that this is uh, three pieces of a confusing puzzle. So those are a couple of resources for you to check out. Episode 20, I go into more detail on that, and I do refer back to episode 16, which I mentioned a few minutes ago about this domain name trap that I was just telling you about. Let me know if any of those resources help you. Let me know if you have any questions about anything else going on in your business. I'm here to help you. My business is to serve your business. I want you to do more business. I want you to do better business, and I believe that by helping you implement some of these tools or make better use of your website, that we can actually help you attract more customers, make more sales, and improve your customer service. All of these things add up to help you save time, save money, and ultimately serve your clients better, faster, and easier. My name is CJ Gilbert. On behalf of Ask a Web Geek, I'm here to tell you we understand. We understand that the internet is a jungle. It's too easy to get lost and fall into a, a hidden trap or go down a path you didn't see coming. And instead, we, we recommend that you join with a tribe of people. You hire a well-trained guide who can lead you through and get you where you want to go. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Make it a great Wednesday. Make it a great week. And please ask me any questions. I'm here to help you all week long. I'm CJ. This is Ask a Web Geek. And we'll see you next time in the web jungle. You just gonna kind of have to trust that it's working right. The dials are moving the way the dials are supposed to move. So hopefully that's gonna give us all the right information. So do you like my cool lighting effects that I got going on today? I've got some new lights in the web cave. So I've got, I'm playing with some stuff here in the background. Let me know how you like that. The internet's a jungle. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. The internet's a jungle. Roar!